Greetings, everyone. And great here for another. Hope it was one replay. That's the game I'm looking for. Spawn on the top right side as U.S. forces of the Ominous Harbinger. Spawn on our top right side as the other U.S. forces. We have Player. Player, the player. Spawn on bottom left side as the Panzerly forces. We have a four name. Spawn as the Wehrmacht forces. We have Senora Stampos. Stamos. I, why did I put a P there? Which is also a four name. But one I can read. Sort of. Barracks now deployed on the field. We do now the rifle squad being deployed on out. Probably rifle squad here, though it wouldn't surprise me if there's a jeep first for either of these players. We got the Kenny Grad going down here. Looks like the Vermont players going more of a balanced capture. Casley players, of course, are going to focus on the flank. The Vermont player going for an MG42 to help keep the self secure. Would it be half bad? There's MP4 too to help keep itself secured. Or maybe just one plant in the center. Plant it. Wa water it. Let it grow. And watch it start pollinating a large amount of uh, people. With, black, with uh, brass and copper. We have a G43 squad pushing way forward, getting some good damage on the engineers. The engineers may try to pet the dead cow carcass, but they will not. They'll pet this one. Nope, they will not. Got the rock squad behind some heavy cover there. A good position there, but the engineers are falling back. Rifle squad may just want to eye just engage cost effectively since they won't really able to get a win on a 2v1 like that. Plus, there's the MG42 in the region. If you can't win a fight, just make your opponent lose, uh, win less. And just lose less. Either way, we've got the jeep now moving around. We have the pioneers trying to lay down some tank traps. Our rifle squad and engineers falling on back. And now we've got this mission sector being decaptured as well. Pioneers and the... Jim and Wagen now engaging, forcing back the engineers. Look sharp, rifleman. Our supply lines are being threatened. OP, I guess he has pings somewhere, or he mentioned that he has built an OP on this fuel point. So maybe one person can eye for an early Sherman tank, the other person can probably eye for an early Greyhound. <laughs> right now the US, US player is getting a little bit double teamed. But as I mentioned beforehand, if you're getting double teamed, just don't try to lose. Just try to make your opponent win less. Jeep and Shimbagen now engaging. The Jeep is a little bit wounded. Shimbagen is less wounded. It's good damage there. We've got the rifle squads now advancing along the flank. After that cutoff point, we do now have a mine here. Rifle squad. Behind some heavy cover there. We've got all these pens of deers behind heavy cover. So a flame warfare wouldn't be half or a flamethrower wouldn't be half bad. Or 60mm mortar to help displace all that. We do have the flamethrower. And unlike we won't see the mortar. After all, how often do people actually go for the mortar? Pretty rare. Listen up, people. Rifle squad engaging here. There's also a landmine here. It's starting to fall on back. All that stuff is repaired on up. Where's that MG42? Not sure where the MG42 is at the moment. Flam Flamethrower pushed before, but does get pinned down by the G43s. No grenade research on the way, but the rifle squad's closing from multiple angles. Flamethrower has started moving, advancing. If you get unsuppressed, you can start burning the Panzer Grenadiers. The Jeep's knocking around these units, so is the rifle squad getting knocked around. Another rifle squad slowly pushes way forward. Panzer Grenadiers take a bit of damage. His teammates push forward with his own Flam Warfare, forcing back all those squads. G43 squad's still here. But barely. Got the Shimbagen here. There's the MG42. 
<coughs> and the Panzergrandiers are falling back. Pioneers here. And they do fall back there. The main squad wipe there. I see one down model, just don't see the other. Triage center there. Early triage center is always good to keep you guys nice and healed on up. Hmm, wonder if we're going to see bars. Yes, we do. Raising the bar of the damage of this rifleman. A little bit quiet at the moment. Private squad could push forward to capture that sector. If I can understand being a little bit defensive, you don't know where the MG42 is at. Additionally, it's a good defensive position. Climbing engineer is taking a little bit of damage there. The Jeep could try pushing forward. Still got this landmine here. But we do have a minesweeper here. Initiating defensive operations. And the US player we have selected has selected an infantry company. So we may see some M2s. Only three of them. Rifle squad does take some hits there. I, if he's paid close enough attention, he realizes he has gone for infantry and there's a landmine there. He may not have access to a minesweeper anytime soon to push over that direction. These are his teammates' hands of We've got some pioneers here. They could be upgraded for minesweeper. Or both of them. Blue may find this landmine. The minesweeper's heading up north. We'll find the Shimwagen. There's the M. Oh no, that's STG squad. I hear something being built. Bunker, cash recovery bunker. Doesn't have to worry about beating his opponent to claim casualties. Being as elite. Rifle squad taking a bit of auto cannon fire. Landmine has not been detected, and which both these Rifleman squads could get splashed by it if it gets too close. Where's MG42? Way down here, just protecting the VP. Not a half bad idea. He gave a attack order there by accident on the barbed wire. Oh, and you find that landmine. Falls both of them back. He does a triage center so they can get healed on up. Only loses one man. But they will be knocked out for a short amount of time. As well, shell shocked forever. Turn push way over the flank. We do have a minesweeper here in the pioneers. This one's laid down landmine. This landmine has not been spotted yet. It has been spotted. And the rifle squads do push forward, do protect the landmine. And now it's going to throw some rounds at the landmine. Very, very good. He's bouncing quite a bit and missing. Does get a pen there, but not a death crit onto it. Does lose sight of the landmine. Goes right there. Does find the landmine once again. And the minesweeper is taking another massive hit. Does full withdrawal there. Greyhound push way forward. As Faust does connect. And the landmine does get re camouflaged. Two there. Oh, he needs a ping right there. Hopefully, he's pinging his teammates saying there's a landmine. Kenningrad. Oh, not only Kenningrad can speed it, but we also have the camouflage pattern on the Kenningrad, which means he has gone for the off ground forces. STGs and G43s and bold actions push way forward. Get it there from the light AT half track. Rifle squads rotating around to shy the fight. They should decide to fight behind this light cover. Light ATF track firing away. Just taking out some light cover. 
base is under attack. Greyhound's fully healed. He could try being aggressive and gauge like the F-Track. Does take time for a crit shot on the Jeep. That's not worth it. Now the Greyhound can push his way forward and take out the light cap track, no problem. Does take it out the Jeep with the Panzer Faust. Rockman bars pretty forward. Flamethrower as well. Artillery support is waiting to get go. Artillery support. Was that for the Alpha Power Shoot or was that for the M2? Maybe it's for Alpha Power Shoot because I didn't hear any other previous line. I was not paying attention to the artillery icon. Do you have a granada warfare on the field? Is it a mounted granada warfare? Nope, it is an unmounted granada warfare. We're losing them as fast as we're getting them. And we got the MG42 here as well. Surprising enough, people are not really fighting on the center, they're just fighting over this area here. Now, I do have a motor pool also being employed on out? I think at this point in time, 60mm mortar wouldn't be half bad as well. A large amount of static units in which they would be a bit more vulnerable to the mortars. And then Grad does not find any landmines. Got a good hit there onto the rifleman. Got hostiles in the compound. Base is under attack. And Sticky Bomb's not being researched by this US player. Greyhound engaging the 2-2-2 two -two -two does force him back, trying to pursue the Hedden Grad. He's already, he mentions to his to his teammate, this player here, that his opponent has gone for the fourth ground forces. It can be a bit difficult to see the camouflage pattern, especially when it's camouflaged. Oh, we got a medic here from this medic station. Base is under attack. And then Grad looks like taking a bit of damage there. Does go get destroyed down. there. Best to use a broken Tiga to get that recovered. Now I've got four of the Fatherland active, which means we've got defense here as well. Off of power shooting our raining on in. Somewhere. Right there. Force back all these units. The Volskandir squad needs to fall back as well, but he's just soft turning to the bunker. 2-2 two -two makes way forward. Light a AT abstract in tow. Another landmine here by the Vermont player. G43 squad taking some fire, and he's using the STG to charge the way forward. Medic goes down. This STG squad does get annihilated. There's a large amount of rifleman squads here. It's a crit shot there in the Greyhound. The other STG squad will likely get wiped out. Yes, it does. <clears throat> and the G43 squad does fall back as well. So we both of the Axis back, players can play out flat KD8s if they so choose. Enemy unit down. Shimon Vagen does go down there. Do we have another for the Fatherland active? His teammate has plenty of manpower, munitions, and fuel. Both these rifle squads are getting suppressed the moat. Alpha Poucher running in the bunker. No casualties been claimed. Found that landmine there. Vermont Claire does have a bit of manpower to work with. So plenty of munitions for, for the Fatherland. And a bit of fuel to work with. Doesn't, oh, going for the battle phase. So battle phase is on the way. And over here we do have the defensive player. We know it's going to live off ground forces, but has not selected any doctrinal ability. Panthers, however, is not a doctrinal ability, but they're yet they're being called on in. I'll give them some good frontline tanks. Looks like his teammate's going to migrate to his teammate's career center to get healed on up. And this kind of grad is just camouflage here. 
Camouflage kind of grabs a pretty nice for spotting. But maybe a good idea for him to go for a mortar half track or possibly Hotch kisses if he has access to them. Uh, we've got Tank Depot here being built. Supply Yard level 1 on the way. We already have Supply Yard level 1 upgraded here. To gain some damage there, Rock Squad's push way forward. Pack 30 is camouflaged to stay safe. And Grandier is getting some shots there as well. Uh, he said, I both said his command points has been getting him too. His first one's on the way. They know against their four against two factions that have access to Black and Yates, so they definitely need one source of good artillery. M2 now pull out on the field. I thought I heard a war from a half track. Yes, there is. Getting some damage on these forces. AT gun does get some shots there. The rifle squad does fall back here as well. Incendiary mortar does connect with some of these forces. We got the Volkswagen just getting bit damage there onto the rifleman. We're also bounced down the Panther. And it's slowly trying to whittle down these riflemen. Over here, G43 is pushing forward with some grenadiers in tow. Flanks are easy to deal with the grenadiers, this is pretty high and heavy cover there. But you got a Wehrmacht landmine there and a Wehrmacht minesweeper. Something died here that may have been a observation post there. The observation posts? Yeah, looks like there's uh, a munition observation post being built. At least not not right there at least this was a plus 10 this was plus 18 nothing on this plus 10 but it is receiving artillery good hit there by that warperman destroys something that was right there panther's taking some hits sticky bomb not been thrown Light half track in tow. We've got two mortar half tracks here. Still, so both Panthers alive. The one's way down here. This one. Oh, light half track does just only see if it's on to get him mobilized. Scheiße. The enemy is stealing a victory point from beneath our noses. Rifle squad does fall back, but these rifle squads push way forward. Elite Polsium Jäger infantry is now available to some populaire. Polsium Jägers are now available. First squad does get one field. He does have access to butterfly bonds that create by the mine of the region. Artillery raining on in. Both. I think both of those were incendiary mortars. There's the Warfamans. AT gun has been fully destroyed there, and Polish Mingers do force back the flame, uh, flame door. Got a pair of Hello Cats here. I think this player may have gone for armor. He has. He's getting a second 105 to help clear out AT guns. <coughs> and then Grad does spot those forces. Very nice. And here comes a Warferman. Looks like they're going to barrage the Hellcats. Hellcat 
wipes out the gun, doesn't destroy the gun. Uh, apparently he's also throwing some mortars in there. And Pan's elite mortars. And those destroyed the gun. Another war from Barrage onto the Hellcats, gain some damage, gain some good spotting from the Kettengrad. Oh, she makes a fighting from light cover there and from the cow. These forces do get suppressed there by the MG42. Crack Squad throws a grenade, delay response. Basically, no response. Two goes down. Fortune Shoemaker does escape on out, and the MG42 is getting some hits as well. Yep, it's down. Hellcat on the field. Fourth Hellcat now on the field. He has plenty of munitions for Allied War Machine. More Warframans raining on in somewhere. Folks are going to sneak after the VP. Folks are going to take some severe damage. Sticky bomb there onto the Panther. And that squad does go down. Down south, got the Hellcat struggling forward. Half track does go down. He goes a mortar half track. These other Hellcats push way forward. This one does get engine crit. There's now a fresh black idiot in the field. Allied war machine is now active. Telling his teammate he does not have access to uh, no permissions to off map. Stick bomb there onto the Panther. Destroyed engine crit. Mo fully immobilized. Panthers can just, or rifle squads can just stick around and throw some more stick bombs. Another Hellcat goes down. That one was not recovered. Another stick bomb has been thrown. I could get the kill, but not. It does. Two Hellcats and kills. He has lost all four. Place of two. One rifle squad does get wiped out there. This rifle squad trying to decapture this AT or Black 88. <laughs> Sounds like this war from war from Mirage does avoid the rifleman. The enemy is down to 300 points. Rifle squads dancing around, getting some damage there on the observation post. Ocean League is firing away. And here comes another war from Mirage. Power shoot running in on the flak 88. A bit of damage there on the observation post. Hellcat charges way forward. Rolls a miss there on the Panther. Rolls a bounce on the Panther. Other Panthers shot or Hellcat straight forward. We're straight through around towards our rifleman. Now we've got the three Hellcats charging way forward trying to kill off this Panther. He's good hits there. There. Majority did crit there from light gap track, but does go down. Uh, still not dead there. It does use Allied War Machine. Pocket 8 has been recruited. Mortar does take out the Hellcat. There goes the Flak 88. Rangers pinned, and there goes the Panther finally. Does go down. Oh, wait, over here we got Panthers. Does go on the M2. Stick bombs to connect. No, both of them have damage engine crits. We have at least one Hellcat up here, which could push forward and engage. Let's attack moving forward and we'll do just fine. Let's take you bomb there onto this Panther. There's the Hellcat. Enemy over. 
Hellcat does roll a miss there. And he rolls another pen in return. Enemy unit. Down. And now the Hellcat does need repairs. This Hellcat slowly crawling its way. And looks like the Lance Crossroads do fire pants of Fels. Does not get a kill. And the US player is out of munitions for yeah, Allied War Machine. Left. His teammate is out of manpower and munitions. There's another sticky bomb there. The Fairmont player does have a bit of manpower. Playing munitions to work with for, for the Fall of Land, but not enough for registered artillery. He has some good hits there. Goes Panther. More Warfman's firing away. Is that a guy about to see your rifleman? Did the Hellcats about to see one and the Knights Cross Orders 2 fall back? The Warfman Barrage raining on in. The Fuck Ground Forces player does not have a large amount of reserve man of manpower. Some munitions to work with, or soon to be enough for an allied butterfly bomb, or not air allied, airdrop butterfly bomb, and plenty of fuel. <coughs> Another Calliope of Barrage running on in, trying to stop with these Panthers. AT Gun does get decrewed. Down south, got the Pioneers behind the Cow Carcass, and we've got the Rangers now fired up. Cow Carcass has been annihilated by Bazooka. That's going to smell real bad. Rangers do flank the MT 42. They do have. Two bazookas, no Thompsons. Looks like one of the Panthers to see the engine crit there from the sticky bomb. The Rangers could try running to it. Get some shots in the rear. Another good hit there. Good hits there up by the bazookas. Here comes the Warfman, so he does force back the flame engineers. That looks like at least two, maybe three there, firing that barrage. There's two on the field. And all these horses are falling on back. Oh, cats now push way forward, trying to find another opportunity to engage. We've got a couple more from here. AT gun does get a shot there on the Hellcat. We are losing ground. does go down. Butterfly bombs running on end. He says he does not have the munitions for a artillery. Another Helicat does go down. He's keep his other one distance since it's not replaceable anymore. It does go down, so it cannot be replaced. Volks Grandier is capturing off that sector of Volksmakers dancing around trying to overrun this AT gun. AT gun receiving quite a bit of damage there. AT gun looks like we'll be safe. Got the flamethrowers getting good damage there on the rifleman. Not rifleman, the Volksmakers. Ugh, I'm getting a little bit tired. Warfarm Barrage now raining on in, rolling some misses, but those force back these units. Now the repair station now will float out on the field. Here comes the Calliope Barrage. Let's force them back, got these rocket squads moving around. Pioneers taking time to salvage some of these carcasses. 
up north was the no he's been threatening for quite some time we do so have this uh, fuel cache down here the munitions cache that was right there is now gone up north we still got the fuel cache here we got munitions cache here no cash no cash we do have another munitions cache here He may has a bit of manpower and fuel to work with. Oh, the armor player doesn't have a whole large amount of resources. There goes those engineers. Oh, his teammate does have off map combat group and does have a bit of manpower sword on up soon. Maybe seeing some off map combat group shows him soon. Telecast between four with rifle squads in tow or in the lead. Our squad does fall back there. This one does recover from suppression. Telecast charging with four finds a shot there onto the Panther. One Panther does or Hellcat does go down. Now got a round of fly rockets ring on in. Now yeah, we got rest artillery being brought in as well. Can you spit damage on those rangers? Rangers probably get wiped out by British artillery. Goals yeah, miss there, and there goes the Rangers. Hellcat trying to keep their distance away from the Grenadiers and the Enemy unit other AT sources. AT gun falling on the back. We got the Rifle squad suppressed by the MG42, fully pinned. And now we got the Grenadier squad falling back. Hellcat's still alive, but barely. Mortuary ring on may splash those pioneers a little bit, or Polish Megers. The Star Squad does get suppressed. The push way forward. And the Star Squad still receiving some hits. This Panther has plank health. It does keep the MG42 from being overran. Rifle squad does force back the Knights Cross Soldiers away from the VP. You have a Sherman tank here as well with the 76mm upgrade. Panther push way forward, trying to gauge that Rangers. 76mm Sherman. Fire to miss there onto the range onto the uh, Knights Cross Holders. Here comes another war from the garage. One Hellcat does go down. And here comes another Clyde P rocket barrage. And one AT gun or Pack 30 will do be just fine. This one AT gun does receive a grenade. It does get the crew. Heather and Oswin up to Ford. Ultramagers push way forward. Range rifle squad from IFS and Gone does get it connected. AT gun does fire a shot, but rolls a bounce. Damage the engine crit there. Rifle squad and flame engineers moving around. SDGs or FG 42s trying to overrun that AT gun. Now got the clock pants are also firing away as well. Warhorn barrage raining on in. And you can another Clive here on barrage as well. Down an infantry unit. Rifle squad, we've seen quite a bit of damage there. Sherman tank has at full health. That's no longer the case. Tick bomb just connected one of the Panthers. Hellcat firing away as well as his teammates M180 gun. No pants, uh, pets house fired up there just yet. For the Fatherland has, or not for the Fatherland, uh, Pink Hunter. 
Allied War Machine's been activated there. One Panther does go down. This Panther takes some hits as well. Hellcat goes down. It does get destroyed in a crit there onto the Hellcat. There's there. Another Hellcat does go down. Sea Bomb does connect. It's gonna kill Crit. And it's right now fully immobilized as well. Good hits there. Another Sea Bomb there on the Panther. Only damage into Crit onto it. Very close to losing up Panther to Sticky Bombs. This one is as good as dead. Another Clive the Rock Garage there for Spec Goggles Pioneers. I ain't gonna destroy the crit there on that Panther and I got another sick bomb as with the work with half trap seeing sick bombs well. That one does go down. The war from half track has damn the engine. Five here rocket barrage ready on in, soften up the Panther. Another something went up down right there. Oh, I held a cap. There comes a war from it as well. Oh, she may is trying to defend against the rifle squads, but one does get to give them off. now. The Panzer League player has a bit of manpower and plenty of fuel to work with. The Wehrmacht player has some manpower to work with and approaching enough munitions for potentially a V1 once he gets enough command points, though right now it's a zero. Pershing is now being brought on in after using the rest of his manpower. He has a little bit of munitions and plenty of stuff on the field. His teammate has a bit of manpower to work with, but not a whole lot. And plenty of munitions to work with. And of course, plenty of fuel for us this game and for the next. Another carcass being salvaged there. There's a Pershing, gets a good shot there. Flat kinds also were time to wait for it. It's at efficiency one. But we'll be able to do much versus this Pershing. And there's another warp from the garage raining on in. Looks like the armor does avoid it this time. Pershing pushes the way forward. AT guns setting on up, trying to engage the Pershing. Little cats and Sherman can get into those well. Pershing back on off, taking quite a bit of a beating. Most of armor is at, actually at full health, but Pershing just needs to pull back. Enemy unit Four hits down. there. The uh, Sherman's M6s are starting to go, or starting to get hit as well. The Panther here has this damage engine crit as well. Their structure is being brought in in sex as well, trying to damage up more of those vehicles. Rifle Squad does throw another sticky bomb there. Good hits there. Ocean Mega's heading down south, trying to engage these forces. Rifle Squad gets another sticky bomb off there. Yet another Warframe Barrage. Rifle Squad does fall back. And the Warframe does get some decent damage here on the Fall Shoemakers. And this Ranger is Special C2 without Thompson's. 10.6mm for swing forward. Rolls a bounce there. Gets a hit there under the Flak Panzer Oswin, which is down to one shot away from death. Rifle Squad's there. AT Gun does connect on the Sherman tank. Enemy has 100 points and counting down. <coughs> Enemy unit down. Alright, from 
the squad straight forward, trying to engage the pioneers. Of your Sherman tanks are advancing. Both players have gone for a Sherman tank with 76 millimeters. Got a sticky bomb there onto the Panther. And Panther does go down, getting eventually two on this Sherman. But this one does go out of control from the register artillery. Panther here. Technically, Flak Panther Oswin. The Oswin could go down to the Sherman tank. But Panthers are at full health, they're a fresh pair. The armor player could go for another. Oh, he still is Pershing still alive. Go for another Sherman. Destroy the engine crit onto this Sherman tank. And there goes that Sherman tank. The squad does fall back there. Oswin skirmishing around. Knights Cross Holders engaging. The Persian just camping BP. Put some rounds on those Knights Cross Holders. War from the half tracks now lying for a barrage over here. And the Pershing has taken a bit of a beating there. Over here, we've got the Panthers roaming around. Ranger still efficiency 2, no Thompsons. YP rocket barrage raining on in, getting some damage on the back line. Lucky Nate is going to just be crude. Field repair not active for the armor player. It's play munitions for more field repairs or for Allied War Machine. Looks like he's not getting that one repaired on up the moment. Pushing gains repairs. One Panther, one Hellcat down. Black Hands Oswin gets damage and crit there onto the Hellcat. Hellcat does go down to the Flak 88. Oswin does go down. The big cat is taking severe amount of damage. The small cat has taken a deadly hit. There's a war from the half track there. And there goes the AT gun. Sherman tank, his teammate has to plow a fresh Sherman tank. Pershing unfed at the moment, getting a good hit there onto the Panther. Panther is getting repaired up by some repair pioneers. And there goes that per uh, Panther, giving the Pershing efficiency too. Got him pretty quiet there. The Pansley player doesn't appear to have a whole lot left. Uh, yes, just fresh to play out of Paul Schmiegers. That was his own. Now that's his only squad on the field before he had nothing. He has basically no manpower either. Here comes the four from half tracks. The X players are down to 50 tickets as well. Not a whole lot. He's going for Bergen to and cover the various Kettengrads they may have lost throughout the game. As well as some other vehicles. Grandiers and the Knights Crosshorns now have four of the Fatherland active. The engineers kept the VP, rapidly decreasing the tickets remaining for the Axis players. Those the Rangers did eat a grenade. A little bit spicy for that potato masher. And there goes that uh, AT gun. Five piece now trying to hit that Black 88. The enemy is does get a decrude. And the Burkantiga is now blown in the field. This point's trying to get the capture. They have captured this point here with the whole Shemegers. Greyhound, is that the armor player? That, I believe it is the armor player. He can take time to capture it up. And it looks like the one of the access players cast in GG. Bergen take up straight points. forward and get easily sticky bomb. We got an upgrade. Oh, there's a landmine explosion looks like rolls right there. And it looks like one of the players backed out of the game.
And it looks like both the players have back to the game. This Android saying, thank you for watching. Oh. That's a little cute. Cute. What am I thinking? I am really tired right now. But if you ever wonder what the spark effect looks like, it looks like that. Well, either way, this Android is saying, thank you for watching. And on to the next replay.